Excellent. What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is short, simple, and to the point. I have some Windows 10 tips for you guys. These are shortcuts that I've found myself using very frequently, and I'm gonna get straight to the point. The main shortcut I wanted to share with you guys today is holding down the shift button while you press the restart button. So what this does is allows you to access the advanced startup menu. And there's other ways to do this from Windows 10, of course, but this is just a quick and easy way to do it. And two main reasons I personally use the advanced startup options here. Uh, of course, you can just turn your PC off, but you don't wanna do that. There's other things here, but the troubleshoot menu is the thing you wanna get into here. And then advanced options is the one I go for. Two things. One is you can automatically have the system reboot into the UEFI from this. And if you have a system that's uh, set up with an SSD, an NVMe drive that has uh, Windows 10 UEFI mode, it might boot so quickly that hitting delete button as the system is starting up doesn't work. And it actually just keeps booting into Windows. This will allow you to just click this button, hit restart. It'll automatically boot into the UEFI and let you go in there and adjust those settings. Or you can click see more recovery options, go to startup settings, and then hit restart. And this will allow you to access an advanced startup menu that will allow you to boot into safe mode. So here's the startup settings list. Number four is the one I usually use for safe mode, but you can do some other options here too if you want, and then it will boot into safe mode. There's multiple reasons you might want to boot into safe mode, but the one reason I do most often is to refresh and reinstall graphics card drivers reboot into safe mode and then run display driver uninstaller and I'll post a link to where you can download that in the video description. That'll clear out all your graphics drivers and then you can reboot. So if you're swapping between an AMD and an Nvidia graphics card or even just between different graphics cards for benchmarking, that's what I use this most often for. But also if you have a system that you're trying to troubleshoot, if you think you might potentially have a virus or malware, rebooting into safe mode to run malware bytes or an antivirus utility is also a great way to do things because it doesn't load up all the drivers and often it can get you into a clean environment where you can clean out malware and viruses and then reboot and get Windows back up and running the way it should. Now, I'll be honest, guys, originally my idea was to keep this video so laser focused that that was the only thing I was gonna share with you. But let's go into a few more tips. I have three more to share with you guys that you might find useful and you might not know about. This is, again, just Windows 10 navigation stuff. Let's talk about the magic of the center click. If you have a mouse with a left and right button, chances are you also have a scroll wheel. You can click down on that scroll wheel and that acts as the third mouse button, also known as center click. And I use this all the time. For one, if you want to open another instance of an application, if you have it uh, tied to your start menu down here, you can just center click and then it will open up another one rather than uh, reopening or switching over to that second one. This is very helpful, for instance, if I'm loading up GPU-Z and I wanna monitor my GPU frequency and I wanna have a couple of them open so I can display those both on screen, center click over that and it'll open up another version so you can have two of those side by side. Joe just asked if this also applies to File Explorer. Yes, it does. If you wanna open up another one, just center click on that and you can open up multiple instances. That's also very helpful. And if you're using a browser and this works in Chrome and Firefox and I believe Explorer as well, you can center click on stuff to open it in another tab. So if I wanted to open Google in another tab, center click on it. I got another tab with Google right there. Or if I wanted to open, say, this video here in another tab, I could center click on that and it'll open it up right over there. Also, you can center click on the tab to close it. Close the tab, close the tab, just by center clicking. That way you don't have to search and find the little X. I find that to be very useful. Tip number three is gonna be a Windows shortcut to automatically launch any application that you have down here in the taskbar, or at least the first nine applications. So if you wanna pin an application to the taskbar, just you can right click on it and go to pin to taskbar and then it should appear down there. So you can launch it whenever you want. But you can actually also press the Windows key plus the number to launch one of these applications. So they're just numbered from the left here. So the far left one is number one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. So if I wanted to launch GPU-Z, which is the fifth application here, I can just press Windows key and five, and GPU-Z launches. I actually most often use a shortcut when I'm trying to do a quick screen cap. So I have uh, paint assigned in position number three here, so I can hit print screen to copy it, Windows three to load up paint, control V to paste, and then control S to save. And now I have saved a screenshot very quickly. So that's a quick little shortcut for that. My final tip is gonna be how to do an emoji in Windows 10. I've talked about this a little bit before, but it was just in a Q&A video, so I'm gonna bring it up here again and repeat myself. But let's say you're watching a Paul's Hardware video and you decide, I like this video and I wanna go and post a comment or something like that. And you're down in the comment section, but you're on a Windows computer and you wanna express yourself with an emoji. Uh, Windows key and the period. Windows key, period. They're right next to each other, which is kinda of handy. We'll bring up an emoji insert list here in Windows 10. You can scroll through them, you can sort through them. They're actually sorted just like uh, on your Android or Apple devices, for example. 
Uh, you can also hit the search icon and search for something like Ninja Cat. And really the only sad thing about this feature is that if you try to do a Ninja Cat, uh, and you try to post it in a, an Android environment, there's no in Ninja Cat icon. It's actually just a ninja and a cat, it's separate. So Android and iPhone really need to up their emoji game and get the Ninja Cat going there. But guys, that is all for this video. I know it has been short and somewhat different, but I hope some of these tips have helped you out. Just little shortcuts that can save you time, and I find that when you find something that saves you time and it's a repetitive task that you do a lot, it adds up and it can save you a lot of time in the long run. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any suggestions, shortcuts that you use with Windows 10, leave those in the comments section down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button too. Thanks again for watching this video guys and we'll see you next time.